What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a taste test and I'm really excited because we're going to be trying for the first time a Mexi Crates. Now this is the smallest box that they do have and it is pretty small I must say but it does have some weights to it. So we're going to be checking this out. Let's get right into this. So this is the first time that I've ordered a Mexi Crates. This Mexi Crates is their seven or eight dollar one. Now that is US. Now because I live in Canada, I have to pay a little bit more for shipping. So in total, this small box cost me $30 Canadian. Now, like I said in the intro, it does have some weight to it, but it is a small box. So instead of like the munch packs and other things that I've ordered for taste tests in the past, that consisted of chocolate chips and stuff like that because of the weights I'm assuming it's a lot more hard candy which I prefer to be having chocolate and chips and that kind of stuff that's what I prefer as a treat but this here I still want to give it a try so let's open it up and check it out see what's inside so once you open up the box First thing is this little Mexi Crate sticker, and that's really cool because from Geek Fuel and Loot Crates, the stickers that I've gotten in the past from other subscription boxes and taste test videos, I always keep them, so I do collect stickers, so that is actually really cool. And the next thing is this little card for telling you to enjoy it, and it says post your box to TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook, and tag us for a chance to win a $20 gift card. That is really cool. I'm likely going to do that. And now for the candy. This is what we are working with. So it does look like it's a lot more hard candy, which is what I expected. Now the intent of me purchasing this box was not only for a YouTube video, but also to share with my beautiful girlfriend. And just by glancing at what we got, there is a lot of doubles, which normally I do not like, but since I bought this to share, that is pretty interesting. So there is going to be a sealed pack for everything or most things that I try. I think mostly everything there's at least two of. So up first, we're going to just dive right into it, is Indie um, Hormicas. So this is what it looks like here. Really small. It looks like a barbecue flavored peanut. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. I don't know how spicy it is, but let's give it a try here. No. I know the description said bitter sweets and spicy powder. I got no heat from it whatsoever. It's extremely bitter to the point that it's gross. I think there's still a lot of powder on this and I didn't even get to the watermelon parts. I'm going to say right now, that's a pass for me. That is a negative. The next one here, I'm going to go with this sucker. I'm assuming it's a sucker. Um, it's in the shape of a bone. It does have a little coating on it, so I'm wondering if this is going to be spicy as well. I'm just gonna leave it like that. So that's what it looks like. It has an orange hue to it, but there is this powder all over it. We're gonna give it a try. That's the second candy in a row. I don't even know what kind it is. The powder is throwing it off for me. The first one couldn't even get to the watermelon flavored candy inside. This one here, I have no clue what it's supposed to taste like, but the, the powder is extremely bitter. I have no sweetness to it. It's not spicy at least, but it's extremely bitter. And uh, I'm not one that likes anything bitter. So that's another one that I do not like. The next one here looks like another watermelon candy. And at least this one here doesn't have any coating on it or powder coating, which is really cool. Um, it says Pulparin Dots. Probably did not pronounce that right. It kind of looks like a fruit gusher, um, but it is a hard candy, or at least has a hard coating on it. Let's try it. It's soft. That is, it does have a spice to it. The spices inside, oh my god, really spicy. But to the point that, for me anyway, since I like heat, it's enjoyable. 
It's not over spicy. It does sneak up on you. And there is the watermelon flavor, but it's not like an artificial watermelon flavor. It's really, really good. So this candy here, I give this one a thumbs up. It does taste pretty good. It has a nice spice to it, which is what I expected. It just really snuck up on me there. The next item we're going to go with is another sucker. This one, there's two in the box. Um, it is a cherry, strawberry, artificial flavored hard candy lollipop. So here's what it looks like. It looks like the literally two flavors just mixed together. We're going to try it here. I think the uh, dark red side is cherry. That's what they did. Instead of mixing up two flavors, it's literally one side is cherry and the lighter side is strawberry. This one here, no heat, just sweetness. So I do like that a little bit more than the first two candies. This one here, I'm also going to give it a thumbs up. It is really good. Next up, we're going to be trying, it looks to be like a marshmallow covered or a chocolate covered marshmallow on a stick. I think honestly, that is exactly what this is. It just looks like a marshmallow that is covered in chocolate and then they put it on a stick. So let's just give it a little taste here. Exactly what it is. I'm going to say it's good. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It has an odd chocolate taste to it. Almost like an extremely cheap chocolate taste. Really good. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up because I do enjoy this one. Next, we're going to try this little bar here. It looks like there is, I don't know, caramel or some kind of candy coating on it, but it literally just looks like a bunch of peanuts put together. Let's try it. Simple. Um, some kind of candy. It's not caramel. It's not... Uh, peanut butter, which is something else I thought it was going to be, but it's just straight peanuts and sugar with kind of a glaze that keeps it together. Um, it is really good. I'm going to give this one a thumbs up as well. Pretty basic, but the flavor is there. It's pretty simple, but it is pretty good. I do enjoy that. It is called Rocoletta, and there is fire literally everywhere on this sucker. And the only other thing that I see that is English says... Lollipop with chili powder and chewing gum center. And it says four chili layers and then there's the gum center. You know what? Instead of just talking about it, let's just try it. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. It might be too hot. This thing looks terrifying. It does not look welcoming at all. It looks like there's little chili flakes in the candy. Regardless, let's give this a little try here. I think it's going to be coming out as fast as I'm putting it in my mouth. Let's try it. Well, as fast as I put it in my mouth, it came right back out. It's literally like a lollipop flavor, but with chili in it. So it's chili flavored candy. Um, it's not spicy, but it just has an overall gross taste to it. I think I'm done with that. One little lick, pop it in your mouth, take it out. Not for me. Hard pass, thumbs down. Not good whatsoever. So we do have another snack from Pulp Arindo. Probably butchered that, like I already mentioned. Kind of looks like a push pop. I'm going to open it up here and try it out. Okay, so it looks like there is a little cover on it. Oh, what is this? Oh, God. I'm not going to push it all the way out. I'm just going to try what's on top. It looks really liquidy. I thought this was going to be like a hard candy. It's not. It's really... I'm not going to like this. I think it's honestly the fruit that was inside the first candy that I liked. I still liked it, but let's just try it. I don't know what fruit that is. It's definitely what was in the center of the first candy that I liked. The watermelon candies, the green ones. I don't like this. It just tastes like that. The first one, at least it had watermelon flavor, but was extremely spicy. This is just some kind of spicy fruits. I don't enjoy that whatsoever. Disgusting hard pass from me. And we do have one candy left. That is Lucas Spaghetti. This is sour uh, green apple. That is really cool. So inside here, this is the candy that is basically like spaghetti. There's a pack of sauce inside. That is really cool. So I'm assuming just like spaghetti, you'll take the container out. 
you'll put the noodles in it and then you'll cover it in that sauce. Now, because that I think would be extremely messy, I'm just gonna try the green candy itself. I get a little hints of sourness. I'm not a fan of sour things at all. A little hint of sourness, but it's not really sour candy whatsoever. So I'm wondering if the sauce is what makes this sour. Again, I'm not gonna be trying the sauce because that'd be really messy. And again, I wanna share this with my girlfriends. So this is everything that is in the Mexi crates. However, there is some doubles of what the candy I have tried in this video. Now I am gonna be sharing that, like I said, with my girlfriends, but above all, I did enjoy this box. However, some of the spicier candies, I did not care about whatsoever. The first two snacks, hard pass for me. The two I didn't really like was this one here. This is the worst one in my opinion. And the first one that I tried that I liked, these ones here, they are better, but they're not the best that's in this box. I think above all else, I think the uh, spaghetti candy apple candy was probably the best. The peanut butter was okay. The marshmallow ones were okay, but this was actually pretty decent of what we get in it. And you get a lot of smaller items. I just wish that it wasn't as many doubles and I wish it wasn't as many suckers and hard candy. I get that because it's Mexican crates. They're gonna have a lot of spicier snacks and spicier candy. I just wasn't expecting some of the heats that came with some of the candy. What I get from Mexi Crate in the future? Possibly because I do enjoy doing taste tests and I did enjoy for the most part this box and what I received. However, I'm gonna be looking in the future for other things that not only I can bring to the channel to do taste tests for. I've tried Munch Pack and I might be bringing Munch Packs back in the future, but I want to explore and try other stuff. There is a Japan Crate that I want to try and a few other things on the way. And I also am looking for other things to unbox on the channel just to have fun and put the money that I earned on YouTube back into the channel. That is what I really want to do. So if you guys have any suggestions of things for taste tests or unboxing videos in the future that you want to see me do, comment them down below of what I should be unboxing or doing as taste tests. I'm going to leave this video here. For my opinion, was MexiCrate worth it? I'm going to say yes, because some of the candies were extremely unique and definitely completely different than what we see here in North America. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.